folks, it's Connie from Faf Designs. Welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I am a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint and today I'm going to do a makeover of these mid-century drawers behind with a custom polka dot design. So first things first, on this little piece I'm going to take all the handles off and then I'm going to give it a good clean with Dixie Bell's White Lightning and rinse it off. Despite what this might look like, it isn't actually wood grain. This is a plastic laminate with a wood grain effect on it. So even though I'm going to be using Slick Stick in a second, you still need to make sure that you clean. This is going to remove any grease and grime or polish or anything that's built up on the surface of that piece before you use your adhesion primer. So next step, after it's been cleaned, it's been rinsed and it's dried, I am going to give it a quick scuff sand with a rad pad sanding sponge. This is completely optional, but when I ran my hand over the surface, there were some little sort of bits that were um, not smooth. So this is just going to help me get a really, really smooth finish. So the next step is to prime and I'm using Dixie Bell's Slick Stick which is one of their problem solving products. I am using Slick Stick over this laminate because it's a surface that ordinarily paint would struggle to grip to. So Slick Stick as I mentioned before is an adhesion primer. It allows you to paint surfaces that you would ordinarily struggle to get adhesion on, such as glass, plastic and laminate like I'm using it on now. So I always use a synthetic brush when I am painting Slick Stick to get a smooth finish. And the best way to use Slick Stick is follow the instructions on the tin. So paint a layer of Slick Stick allow it to dry for between two and four hours, paint another coat of slick stick and let it dry overnight. This is the best practice and it's going to give you the best results. So I'm only going to use slick stick on the areas that are laminate which are the draw fronts, the top of the piece and also the legs are plastic as well. The two sides are actually not laminate, they are real wood, so it's not necessary to use slick stick on those areas. So the slick stick primer has been dry for 24 hours, which means we can go ahead and paint. I am using a brand new colour from the Silk range called Desert Rose. So Silk Mineral Paint has a built-in stain blocking primer, it also has a built-in top coat which gives you a really beautiful sheen and it's best applied with a dry synthetic brush for a super smooth finish. So I've applied two coats of Desert Rose all over my piece, including the legs, and I cut out a custom polka dot stencil. I just used some scrap card, and I'm applying the other pink in the Silk Mineral Paint range called Conch, and I'm making a polka dot pattern all over the piece.
when you stencil with silk paint it's a very very similar process to if you'd stencil with chalk mineral paint so add a little paint on your stencil brush and remove the excess onto a rag or a paper towel and gently either swirl or stipple your paint until you've got full coverage of your stencil pattern. So because Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint has a built-in top coat, there's no need to top coat this paint, it's super durable and I'm adding some brush gold handles as one of the finishing touches. And I'm also using some gold gilding wax just to refresh those little metal caps on the end of the feet to tie in with the new handles that I've just added. Okay, so it's done. Here's a close-up of the polka dot design, which I think turned out pretty well. And I've wrapped that design around the sides and over the front, as you can see here. And here is the final staged piece. I really like it. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel.